For this question, we need to first ask the user for a username. So we do that by creating a variable called username. We use the input command to ask the question and we just type enter username. Then we need, it says if the username is less than eight characters long, display username is invalid and repeat the question. Now this is a condition controlled. We have a condition here, which is if it is less than eight characters long. So for this one, we need to use a while loop while the length of the username is less than eight. So as long as there are less than eight characters in the username, then we have to repeat the question. But before we do that, we need to display username is invalid, as it says in the question. Then we need to repeat the question, so we need to ask the question again. So here we need to reuse the variable username. So you can just copy line one if you wanted, but use the same variable, so username again and then input to ask the question. So what will happen here is, once you ask the question again, if it's also less than eight, so then it goes back to this line two, then it checks if it's eight characters long or above, then it will be accepted and the while loop will break. Otherwise it will enter the while loop again and it will keep entering the while loop until a user, the user enters a username that has at least eight characters. Then once they do that, we just need to print your username has been accepted, but that has to be outside the while loop because we only want to get to it once they've entered the correct username. Once we've done that, we need to move to the third bullet point. So ask the user for a password. So password is equal to input. We're making a variable called password that we use an input command to ask the question. Then it says if the password is less than eight characters long or greater than eight characters long, we display password is invalid and repeat the question. Again, it says repeat the question, so we need to use another while loop. So for that, we can create a while loop while the length of the password is less than eight, as long as it has less than eight characters, or it has greater than 15 characters. If any of these two conditions is true, it will go inside the while loop. Only one of them needs to be true for it to go inside the while loop. Once we are inside the while loop, we need to print password is invalid. And then we also need to ask the same question again. So the password equals input. Then once they get it right, we just display your password has been accepted. Again, this is in the main program. It's not inside the loop because we get to it once they've entered the correct password or a password that has at least eight characters and less than 15 or 15.